What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with episode 3 of my tutorial on Game Maker. Today we'll be making a basic menu, so kind of like what you would do before you play the game. So for this, we're going to need to create another room, so create room, now we'll name this one rm underscore menu, and you don't have to change anything with the size, you can leave all that. Now click check mark, and put that one make sure to line it so menu goes first because it always plays it goes in the order so it starts off with the room that is aligned first so rm underscore menu will go first you want it to run first because it runs before you play so now we're going to create a sprite we'll name it spr underscore play or s just play okay so edit sprite now we'll make it a height of or a width of 128 and a height of 64. Actually, let's make this 256. It'll work a little better. Okay, so that should be fine. Now, what we're going to do is we'll take the text one and we'll write the word play. Now, let's change the font size, make it a little bigger, make it bold, and we'll do. Well, it looks like a cool font that I have. And you could do this with whatever font you want. We'll just do... Hmm... I don't know. Let's let's just go with... What's it called? Where is it? Um, Distant Galaxy. That That's fine. Um, we'll make it size 20. Color will be black. Nah, actually, it might need to be a little bigger. 48 should be fine. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so we'll save this. Good, good. And then we're going to make another one, which should be pretty similar. Actually, you could just duplicate it. SPR underscore quit. So this is the exact opposite, quitting the game. Now, you can highlight this and remove it all, because we're going to be doing the same kind of the similar thing except this one will be quit okay so that should be fine like that and then yeah okay so now you need to create the objects so obj underscore play and then give it the sprite now here's where you add an event okay so you're gonna add mouse and left button so this is when the left button is pressed on the mouse or actually hold up change this event mouse left pressed so this is when it's pressed it's gonna go it's gonna do whatever code is here so the code we're gonna use is room underscore go to and in here you put parentheses and then you name the room so this one will be rm and then like i said this is upon calling it so this is why giving them prefixes work because if you just named a menu and test it makes it harder to find every one of them. So if you do RM first, then it shows you all your options for when you want to look for something, when you want to look for all your rooms. So this one we're doing test, parenthesis, close it, there we go. Um, okay, so we have that, and then you're going to duplicate this now, and the same thing you'll do obj underscore quit. Now instead of making it when you go, it'll room go to, you'll do game underscore end so this is basically going to end the game and close it out pretty much so now we'll go into the menu and we're going to add the objects same way you add the other ones and we'll put play and we'll also put quit up oh, wait didn't change the sprite that comes in handy there we go now let's make sure that looks oh wait wrong room let's make sure that looks fine play and quit okay so now we can run it and we'll test it and make sure it looks all good. So there we go. So we have play, which will take you to the playroom. And then X out of it, we'll restart it. And then you have quit. So if you click it, it just closes out of it. So that should be pretty much it for a simple menu. We can always that can always be built upon. You can add more to it. But and that's also kind of a tutorial on how to make a basic button in the game, in Game Maker. But that'll probably be it for this tutorial.
not much to it, just simple menu. But uh, if you guys have any questions or if anything you need that isn't working and you need help, just feel free to comment it and I'll hopefully answer your questions for you. And also if you want to see anything in future tutorials, make sure to comment it. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.